lit locks. You'll notice it's got a metallic sheen because it's made of metal. So, let's turn it on for the first time. This is straight from the factory fresh. It's booting up. Next thing we'll get is a screen where we can choose our interface language. Once the interface language is chosen, then we go into an automatic setup routine. We're going to choose standard for right now. Standard enables you to set up a wallet and a pin for your device. We're going to use 12 word mnemonic. This is using uh, numeric pins and auto pin generation. The pin generation lets you choose between four to eight digits in your pin. Let's choose seven. So, 8635348. That sounds reasonable. If I don't like it, I can always go back. And then I can just get choose another one. Oh, I'll get eight this time, eight digits. If I use advanced or expert mode, I can always choose my own pin. So, 298105. That looks good. So, this is an e-paper screen so that it will hold the image after it's been turned off. The initial format writes through every single block in the memory four times, once with ones, once with zeros, then twice with random data, so every single bit has been flipped, assuring you that it is completely random. So, our formatting is done. Now, we set up a default wallet. We can always just cancel and not set up a default wallet. Then we can set one up on our on our mobile device or with the web app. So, same thing. This time I'll just choose four digits. So, 7165. Write that down. Or commit it to memory. It's now setting up our wallet. You'll notice the device is only four millimeters thick. And it's made from, this one here is made from aerospace grade aluminum. Okay, now we get a backup mnemonic. I'm sure somebody will write this down and attempt to cash out. Please do. It would be fun to see that happen. <laughs> so you get 12 words here. In case you missed it, you could always show them again. Definitely need to write these down because this is the only time they will appear. So just continue onwards. Right now it's generating all the different keys necessary. This is an HD wallet, so one key will derive everything. So, do we want to use it in mobile, with Bluetooth, or with a desktop with USB? I'm going to choose Bluetooth. It doesn't matter, you get this choice every single time you boot the device. So, right now, there. That's our, our wallet number, our wallet address, plus a QR code. Now, if we switch it off, the device stays in this state so that we can then just go and scan money straight into our new wallet. If we don't feel like having our address here for everybody to see, you merely turn it back on and it wipes it out and you're back to the pin. So that's the introduction for how to quickly set up your bit locks. Thank you.